ولادی علی خان از طول ای سرکله از ناهیه پای پای چپ پای چپ از گوجلک پای پای قدش لیوارس بیا مرتر لیوارس بیا چند نفر سرکله؟ خبر نشته بود؟ ایت جور روگی جور روگی ایت جور روگی ایت جور روگی ایت جور روگی ایت جور روگی خیمه این سر خود داره یا پیشتر بردان ارز کردم که یک قسم ماینه پیشارکی هست به خود دیگه بسیار سخت تمام میشه تو چون که مثل اولاد های تورستن نگه طبعا مثل اولاد مثل برادر همسنگر که واقعا نیاله مخی سکن و سنجینه را میام I face the risk of death every morning زیتر او most of the time we confront landmines, ambushes, and suicide attacks. God willing, I'm happy to do my duty and serve the army, even though it is hard. I will devote my blood to defend my motherland and my country's flag. Americans have learned that it's harder to end wars than it is to begin them. Although the American withdrawals had a negative impact, we are happy that they are rejoining their families and returning to their country. But we feel the shortages. They were our strong colleagues who fought alongside us against terrorists to protect our people. They trained us. I've been on embed with Afghan security forces many times. Five years ago when I was reporting from an Afghan National Army operation base in the front line, they were too dependent to Americans. What has changed now, it is their problem, their war. They have to fight their way. And they have kind of uh, developed a kind of a, an ownership in the operation. It's a very rich and very important district for the Taliban, and they would fight as much as they can to hold this. The withdrawal of foreign forces from Afghanistan has emboldened the Taliban militants. Landmines are the most powerful weapon the enemy has. They don't have stronger weapons. Our workload has increased since the Americans left. They had advanced equipment that they did not leave for us. They had more sophisticated mine detecting tools. They should have given us those, but they didn't. The number of casualties have doubled since the NATO forces has left because the Afghan soldiers are so vulnerable to threats on the ground and, uh, and that's mostly for two reasons. A, they don't have aerial support and B, they're mostly traveling in unarmored soft skin vehicles.
It is really hard to lose a friend, especially after you've shared food with him. Afghan government needs a strong army to hold the Taliban, but will not be able to annihilate the Taliban. Uh, Afghan conflict has only one solution, and that's a political solution. It's a lot of same amount of attention that is paid on the uh, military operations, even more should be paid on uh, honest, credible and serious intention towards negotiations and talks with the armed oppositions, mostly the Taliban.